Well, hey everybody, we are on our way to sunny Arizona from beautiful Minnesota. We got Mike with us and we got Connor. We got the KFX and a bunch of toys in the trailer. And it's time to get out of the snowstorm and keep making our way south. I'm gonna give an effort to do an epic time lapse on uh, this whole drive here. We got a long journey ahead of us, over 25 hours. getting close we left at what time did we leave town 8 30 in the morning yesterday right here, right? 26 hours 56 minutes 26 hours and 56 minutes that's not bad man that, that's just straight run time there's lake havasu way over there in the distance can't see it because you know gopro life here we are lake havasu uh, dunes resort fancy I can definitely see why we are not storing a trailer here. All right, uh, 27 hours later and we are here. KFX made it just fine. All the tires survived. We drove through some gnarly stuff on the way here. We might get this cleaned up a little bit. Let's see how the quads look. Man, haven't done a straight through drive like that. I don't think ever. They couldn't really move at all. There's so much stuff in here. But we are here, man. All right, we're trying something new here today. I've always wanted to use Google Earth and due to losing some footage from this ride, I figured now is a great time to implement it into my content. So we're zooming in on Lake Havasu City, Arizona. This was the first stop on our week long road trip. Lake Havasu is a beautiful place and there seems to be tons of recreational things to do. We also had a blast seeing all the classic cars and trucks roaming around town. So zooming in further here, you can see the city layout and the mountain in the background called Crossman Peak. 
The off-road industry seemed to play a big role in the local economy as almost every modern truck we saw on the road was off-road ready. So heading south of town off Highway 95 is where we rode the Standard Wash OHV Park. We're zooming in on what seemed to be the biggest parking area to onload and ride. The vastness of this place was just as exciting as it was overwhelming. You could ride here for days and never hit the same trail. This is where we parked, and now on to the start of the ride. Those are those really, they, see that one that looks like a troll hairdo? Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so that will get a little bit sharp if you hit it with your arm or something, they're pretty solid. And then um, goat's head. Now goat's head is like a little plant that breaks off and it rolls around. It has like really sharp spikes, but they're really short, so you're probably good. Because my two-ply tires never pop. Okay. It's really gonna get you, is like a real, really sharp broken rock, and that's about it. Okay, that's what could pop you. Yeah, okay. so that'll get you if you slice a tire with one. But other than that, you're pretty good at it. I'm feeling pretty cautious right now. I'm that's not, We're, yeah. Like I said, we'll explore this first and really see what's out there. Yeah. Because none of us have been here. Yeah, exactly. So and we can explore, kind of goof off a little bit along the way, but we're really just trying to figure out the area. All right. Okay, we're going to fire them all up. Yeah. This is so nuts, man. I can't believe we're going to do this. Wow. First desert ride, man. First ride on the YFC with a new big three exhaust too. We got, according to Jay, about six more horsepower, three more foot-pounds of torque. I've ridden it down the street through third gear and that's it. Wow. It's gonna be a totally different animal having a pipe on here now. I'm so excited for the experience. Mike's already softening his damper. He's stiffened that thing up quite a bit. so much dust. I'm going to probably abandon the bumper cam. Here I was wondering, hey, does it get dusty? Yes, it does. There's not going to be really much chase cam here at all, maybe. That's all right. We're learning what this is all about, man. You can see Lake Havasu way over there. Wow. This is so cool. I was kind of hoping there'd be a bit of a breeze because it would blow the dust off. Man, the quad. Oh, dude. I can't believe all the different places I've been so fortunate to ride this year. You guys have really helped take this to the next level. I'm so grateful, man. Thanks so much for watching everything. I wonder how Connor's doing. He's taking his time. It's the last place in the world you'd want to get chucked off your toy. Wow. <laughs> I think the Raptor would be a pretty epic machine for this. The skip plate's going to be getting some use today, that's for sure. It's going to be a pretty demanding uh, adventure for everything.
Yeah, dude, this is crazy, man. Yeah. I think we just found the main trail. Uh, this is a lot better than what we just rode. Yeah, so I think we found a connector to get to the main road here. And it looks like we can take it and move up into the ridge line a little bit more or take it down into the walk. We can actually follow all the way up into the ridge line. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, you can see trails way over there, man. Well, this little wash down here looked cool. Yeah, I think. So should we try to get on that? Down into that wash and finish it back out into the parking lot. So I'll go down here and see if we can get into it. Yeah. Well, oh, there we go. Someone. Yep. Got a razor over there. Hope he's taking a yeah. picture. Yeah, we should take a picture, otherwise we won't. The Raptors got reverse. Yeah, I was going to say, you got reverse, dude. <laughs> we'll move the Kawi over more, and then we'll put the Raptor next to this one. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to go down and try to get into that wash right now. Is that the plan? Yep. All right, cool. Head down that way and see if I can get in You're good, Connor? Just keep taking your time. So this is a little more of a burned in road here. I'm going to kind of take my time because I really spaced out putting air in the tires. They're at a really good dirt to PSI, but some of these big rocks can totally bottom out a wheel and bend a wheel. Ian said he's running seven and six. advanced terrain for him. So, he'll be okay, I think. That's what I'm watching. Come on, Connor! Yeah! You good? This is really technical stuff, man. Just keep taking your time and do not lose your momentum going uphill. So what we're going to do, you can see the trail right there. Comes back down. Yeah, that sounds fun, dude. Let's get down there. And we'll roll back downhill real flat. That sounds really good. Awesome. Oh, Mike's already down there. <laughs> he just jumped over the seat. <laughs> All right, we are in my first desert wash, apparently. Pretty uh, slate, kind of shale rocky. You gotta be careful at a place like this. This is really cool though. This is crazy stuff. When I come back next year, I'm probably gonna be bringing a spare set of dirt tires because I feel like you could cut a tire out here, man. Fun down there, but Ian kept on going. Alright. Good job, Connor. I'm so glad he went to Little Sahara because it, it just taught him a lot. Connor's probably one of the most chill and responsible riders that I've been with as far as being a new rider. This is cool, man. Woo! It's 
like uh, gravel pretty much. So many different terrains, dude. up with Mike. turn us off. Where is Ian and Connor? I think one of my favorite things about this, even though the environment is super rugged, like we can kind of go anywhere that we want within reason. much in like five minutes when you go somewhere new. Bigger tires and more PSI. That, that'd be a game changer right now. The stabilizer is of course my best friend. There we go, I made it back down to the creek. I love how it looks with the black beadlocks, man. I didn't know we rode Harleys out here. I know. <laughs> if you're gonna rip the Renegade on the adventure, I'm gonna take the Raptor. Do it. 
Yeah. I'll just go ahead and bum around on the Honda, I guess. This is, yeah. this is already I'm excited for this to come up here. Yeah, yeah, let's let's go put it through its paces. We can head back up that rock. Yeah. And then uh, get to that point where we got off and then uh, finish out from there. I just want to stop at a place with a decent vantage point. Yeah, we got to get on the, like one of the higher peaks here for him. Okay. We're swapping quads, up the tire pressures on both machines, two pounds front and rear. We're gonna ride the trail machine. We're gonna go towards that mountain over there. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and we got uh, probably four hours. We uh, did a little bit of filming in earlier. Wow! <laughs> oh man! I forgot about this, dude. I've never had to aggressively wipe for dust before. terrain for Connor like I'm really stoked for him he's always riding as smart as he can he's very careful I don't worry about him anymore you know this is a dangerous sport you got to respect the machines and your ability the environment the conditions you know we we all take risks doing this and uh, most of the time it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when you're gonna get chucked off so you know for us to drive 30 hours and to come out here to play and laugh and have fun with friends like the last thing we want is anybody to have a, an oopsie. What's up? I just want you to lead. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Oh, well, you're doing a good job, man. It's going to get rougher, though. We'll take our time. I don't really know where I'm going either, but it's kind of an obvious trail through here. Just come to this side. <laughs> no, I meant like right, right there. I should have rode on that. Yeah. No, you're all good, dude. This, huh? I can breathe for a second. It's amazing how much stamina this takes. Right? Yeah, it's pretty nuts, dude. It's a very demanding sport. People don't give it credit. It's a lot of fun, but this is some of the most aggressive technical riding that you will ever do on a four-wheeler. And it is forcing you to learn a lot very quickly. <laughs> so, like right there, like I didn't read that right. I should have just rode right through this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you picked the aggressive line. Um, are you gonna be able to get her off here? We should keep moving. So. Yeah, we'll go. This thing's getting hot. great I know we'll be able to cover a lot more ground on one of the roads that part right there because it's right next to where that power line is yeah it'll be much more flowy yeah we'll do that 
Texans. We just gotta really space out for dust. Right, yeah. I'm gonna have to take this for a quick lap. Yeah, that's a great idea. So good. Well, man, if they're going right now, why don't we swap too? Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, you should ride that Raptor, dude. It's insane. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the key's on the left side there. Oh. Okay. It's at, oh, it's already, it's on, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. Start good, got it. So the clutch is very snappy. Yeah. It's, 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 well, it's, it has a new clutch. With this one, kind of heavy springs, but the clutch, as soon as it hits, it's in. Yeah. So it engages pretty quick. Um, other than that, the throttle and everything's pretty, I've got it real tight. Oh, okay. But other than that, the more you give it, the more it'll give you. That's Dude, I love, it's one of the coolest graphics kits I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Seriously. Really? It just works so well, oh, I know. and the seat, it's so cool. We're going to get another one here pretty soon with a slightly different pattern, but it's going to be relatively close. So It's really cool, man. Yeah, man. Oh, I love these Nerf bars. <laughs> You're going to love the thing. Oh, I like how this feels. <laughs> Whoa, this clutch is super short. It's a two-finger clutch. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like the short clutch. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, TRX 450. Everybody's favorite quad. He's got his shifter up high, but it's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, wow. I like the seat. Holy crap. And the monster pegs. He's got Wrath nerfs on it, man. Oh man, I like this. There is a lot of vibration. He did say that, but holy cow, does he got this setup good? And he's got the ODIs, dude. The ODI grips, man. They are so nice. Oh man, I love it. Wow, very nice. A sweet quad and it's got stock shocks man he's doing a full elka setup on it he's on the raptor <laughs> very nice machine dude it feels tight super predictable loves the slide he's got these hole shots on the back nice taller tire <laughs> Rocket exhaust on it. I've never seen a rocket exhaust. Nice carbon fiber tip. Yeah, this is a very confidence inspiring machine. It looks like those guys must have went down into uh, the watershed down here. Those are the bigger rocks you got to watch for. He's got his uh, his controls up really high. So that's the only thing that's a little off for me. All right, dude, this is a sweet quad. I love the graphics kit. These are this is, looks like it's a Dirt Fiend graphics kit. It's cool how they fill in all these little pieces, and you know, like a lot of people do the warning label deletes, which I did, but this is kind of a cool alternative. Nice Wrath grab bar with a number plate. Man. I love that he's got an eight inch wheel on here. These are really cool tires. Like it's, it, it, I mean, this is Ian's playground, so he's a little more equipped for it than we are. Stuff that's a little more practical. It's a lot of fun though. I like this little lower gully thing. It's it's really unique riding. Those guys went right down the, the path down there. Sounds cool. Connor man this is so nuts with Connor because like he has never well not anymore but like he had never done this prior to getting involved so like here it's been about a year of involvement now and he's ridden so many different four-wheelers he's getting a lot more confident it's really fun here comes the Raptor <laughs> I wonder what he thinks of the 60 horsepower I like that yeah Dude, that thing, I just want to go ripping with it. <laughs> it's uh, it's very confidence-inspiring. Tell the difference. 
from the bottom to the top, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> uh, there you have to give that some RPM, and then it's like really happy. You do. This one will take you to all that RPM, and it just like keeps going. So from the bottom end, you're like second well, gear and just clutch slightly, and the thing just pulls. It's, it. it's just a, it's a total trail machine. Yeah. Like it's just you can get on it, lug it, cruise it, take your time. And it's absolutely happy with it. It's it is. It's it's super fun to do. Oh man. And now with the taller gear ratio, uh, fourth gear goes 75. So really, you're oh, yeah. pretty much in third and fourth, and fourth gear is super long. It has a so, every single one of those. Too. Oh, it does. It's insane. Yeah. All right, first Renegade ride review. Love it. He's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so much yeah. uh, it is unbelievable what that thing can do, man. He took some really weird lines that I probably should have <laughs> followed him through. Um, you could get really good at riding that thing. <laughs> uh oh now you want to run again i've always said the channel needs these three like that's the that's the epic crazy insane thing this is the nice trail machine and that's the racer so they're all way different you ever notice it feels like you're floating yeah. on that thing but coming over the the bigger rocks it you don't even have to really avoid them and just eat them up but yeah, it's just some of those bigger corners when we hit here and you pop the clutch and drift it. This, oh, it doesn't do it. Yeah. And it's just, you're trying to manhandle it to get it to do anything. All right. Uh, it's very dusty, but we'll let you guys okay. go. Good yep. Yeah, like I said, I'll keep it down to a point, but. That was a massive quad swap session. <laughs> we all just rode different stuff. him to go much further man he's got to ride back by himself yeah. I, I found this spot it's like i'm gonna pull over till he gets here because he's got to i don't know how much he's paying attention to where he's at oh okay i got you i hate that throttle <laughs> Is it oh that's the thing the throttle he can't uh it's too close to him yeah, so it it, i'm literally like riding it in here and in here and like yeah yeah, I don't want you to go any further, man. You need to go back. If we go any further, it's going to get worse. Yeah, no, I'll stop here. It'll get a lot harder. Do you think you can get back? Yeah, I just need a break.
That quad is so nuts. Wow. That's some confidence, man. <laughs> He's having so much fun. Crazy man, you are crazy. Let's flip that thing over. I got the bars, ready? Yeah. Go! I got the brakes. You good? Holy crap! It ripped your seat and it broke off your GoPro mount. I don't know if it, I don't know if it broke. No. No, it, it just, just popped, popped itself off. off. Dude, that is on video. <laughs> that is insane what you just, that's why I got kind of sketched because that yeah. stuff bites, man. You're I crazy. I didn't see the rock. I was trying to get over it. Dude, that was insane. Wow. All right. Man, I, I'm always freaked out when someone crashes, but that was actually freaking awesome. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, I lost all my footage after this point, so back to Google Earth to tell the story. As you can tell, this is where Ian crashed and we are currently. After riding this small area, we continued towards Crossman Mountain and improvised a small loop with the Polaris Ride Command app. We rode until the trail split, and then took a right and made our way further east into the never-ending desert. Parts of the trail at this point got super rocky and rough. I couldn't help but be awestruck by how vast this area was. After another couple miles, we ended up in another wash and took our first left up a watershed even further up the mountain. At this point, I was super stoked because we were gaining elevation and who doesn't like climbing? I was pretty devastated that I lost this footage because it was super rugged and very scenic. As we neared the highest point of our loop, we took a sharp left and went through this epic valley. I wanted to turn around and film with the tripod, but we were covering so much ground and we were on a slight time crunch with sunset approaching. As our loop came to an end, the trail opened up to one of the fastest sections of the day. The rocks were medium sized and unfortunately I had a little too much slack in my chain and with the rough terrain it hopped off the sprocket. Thankfully we had phone service and Mike came back to give me a tow and we made our way back further down the trail to catch up with Ian. That's not supposed it. to be like that. No, the, the chain hopped the sprocket guard because there was too much yep. slop and then it was getting caught on the sprocket bolts. So we zip tied it. That's the, one way to fix it. Thank God I had that bag wow. of zip ties. Because we job. couldn't move it because it was locking the rear tires. But yeah. I remember now I spaced it out. <laughs> it's so easy to forget to tighten your chain, man. Well, that's one more thing we're going to do. Yeah. It needs a new chain. I am so chain. glad that we noticed it was a text message right away. Lost chain. We're like, oh, okay, cool. He's fine. Mike's like, get the strap. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't want anybody to get my alarm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with that, we made our way back to the parking lot and put the drone up before sunset. This place is truly spectacular and unlike anywhere I've ever been. Even though I lost some footage and some things didn't go to plan, I'm still super happy with how this video turned out. This place is demanding, but it's a ton of fun. I can't wait to come back more prepared and with a better understanding of what to expect next time. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Ian with the Square One Speed channel. He sent me some content to fill in the gaps and you should definitely check out his channel for more coverage of this trip. As always, big thanks to you guys for supporting us by watching the videos and buying parts and merch off our website. It helps us so much and allows us to do these things, so we're so grateful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's just the beginning of our epic adventure. Until next time, you guys have a good one and happy riding.